Welcome to another edition of Professor Wardy Screencasts. This should be a quick three, four, maybe five minutes at most video, which will help us with the reflective statement that we have to write at the end of the semester. So we're going to learn about reflective writing so we can write awesome reflective statements later. Uh, if you remember, after the issue background report, I had you do a ref mini reflection on that in the annotated bibliography. I'm going to have you do the same thing after the causal essay now while it's fresh in your mind. If we do it right now, do it correctly now, it should make writing a reflective statement that much easier and actually go pretty quickly at the end of the semester when we're all bogged down with a bunch of other stuff. So let me get into it. The reflective statement, remember, is now one of four, not five, but four items in our portfolio. The portfolio counts as 70% in your final semester grade. You reflect on the five core values in the case we need a little refresher. We have the five core values here, and I'll give you a link to this a little bit later. So remember, core value one is writing is trust the process. Um, you can read it, and this is kind of what that really means, these bullet points. And are each of these on this page, you have that. So I would look at this. So you have close and critical reading. Here's what it really means. Writing is shaped by purpose, audience, context, genre, pack G, information, literacy, and that include lateral reading, evaluating sources, and then writing with the responsibilities. So you kind of look at all these, and then you're going to reflect on them in this assignment I'm going to give you a little bit later. But, and here's kind of where, let's look at what we did last time. So I'm going to do a little bit better this time. Again, it's to make it easier later in the semester. All right, so this was somebody from um, earlier, and again, names are off of it. Nobody knows it's whose is whose. This one talks about you know, the first stage of coming up with, and again, this is from the issue background report, bibliography, and core value one writing is a process, multi-stage process, that the first stage is come up with a topic that's controversial, then find some credible sources. All right, what were the sources? How did we specifically come up with what text showed and shaped our views? We want some specifics there. Um, another example. This person with core value two, close and critical reading, is talking about, again, talking about how they kind of came across like the sources. I look deeper into other points of view. All right, such as what text, what points of view do we get? We want specifics. So here's how you want to do it. This person is talking about, again, core value one, the process, and talking about, you know, the issue back and report, mainly about organizing your research to kind of figure out different categories of stakeholders. And then they quote something from their, and from their issue back and report, in terms of marijuana legalization, quote, the public view is something that cannot be overlooked. If people buying these stores, buying things from the stores, they have every right to know exactly what they're getting. This is exactly from their issue back and report. Uh, if I go down here, core value four, information literacy, you know, the credibility of sources. This person, an instance where lateral research was successful for me in my annotated bibliography, and they quote right from their annotated bibliography, Calkins is an American drug research policy researcher and professor. The professor seemed fairly well-versed, specific evidence from their papers. So you're going to want to do the same thing. So when you get this assignment, click on this link right here. And again, this is the causal essay mini reflection click on this link it'll take you straight to the core values really read them over then go through your essay and try to pull stuff out of it and the more specific evidence you pull into this the better you'll be prepared to do your reflective statement a little quicker and easier at the end of the semester so put the work in now and it'll make it easier later if any questions let me know see me office hours shoot me an email other than that professor wardy is out